I tore a goalless draw with Millwall this afternoon. Was that a fair result? I think so. I think uh, maybe we had uh, no uh, clear chances, but uh, we had a few balls in the in the uh, Millwall box. It's true that they've had just one at the end of the of the game. Uh, Neil again did a really good save, but uh, again I think it's a a fair score because uh, they are a, a really good team. Uh, we knew that it was going to be a, a tough game. They've been playing the same style as uh, at least seven seven years since uh, since I've been here, and now in these uh, seven years they are more quality. They are big players up front, uh, long balls, second balls. They have players uh, even when they have to play, they know to to play. So I think it's a a good game for us that uh, at least we showed again. Uh, good consistency on the pitch. Was it a game where both sides cancelled each other out, both teams were, were tough to beat and didn't want to lose the game today? Yes, but uh, I didn't want to lose the game, but obviously I wanted to win the game. So and then the substitution, the substitution that I did, they were uh, taking out the leak of our, uh, for Jere. For Jere, I wanted to to keep the ball because I thought at that time that we we could uh, create them problems. But uh, you know, it was a difficult game to to change people because uh, they are really good in the set pieces. So I didn't want to miss players uh, to defend the, the set pieces because even in the last one they could uh, score. They made a change themselves, Matt Smith coming on, who is a big presence, but defensively again today, Mark Roberts, Harley Dean, all of the back line with the players in front of them stood up to the task. Yes, and uh, I said that Neil had done an amazing save, but it's true that uh, he didn't have uh, too much work because uh, Robo, George, um, Harley, Max, Mikkel and uh, Christian have been very good uh, defending, aggressive, so I'm really pleased with them because, again, with this uh, consistency, we would have won uh, against Luton last Tuesday, we would have won against uh, uh, Coventry last Friday, so again, it's just to, to try to recover uh, our consistency because, again, with this consistency, when we play against teams uh, worse than, than Millwall, we are going to win for sure. You spoke about Jonathan Leco during the week. He was given a chance from the start today. How did you assess his performance? Very good, very good. I had a, a good chat with him uh, last uh, last Thursday. He's a, a kid who who needs uh, support. Uh, you need to to understand him because uh, you know he's a, a kid who has been out for nine months, who was at the Premier League, at Premier League team. Uh, in the summer and now is uh, is with us. So again, I'm really pleased with uh, with his performance, with his attitude. But uh, like everybody could see, he needs to to learn because uh, one stupid mistake could um, could cost us a, a sending off, and uh, it would have been uh, difficult. How much thought goes into making substitutions in the game? I know you've spoken to members of the press a little earlier, but I'm sure everybody would like to see attacking players on the pitch, but you've just offered an answer that suggests you don't want to lose too much defensively as well. Yeah, and uh, if you look at the bench and uh, you look at the players who I had uh, to attack, I had uh, Scotty, but if I had put Scotty on the on the pitch, we would have lost uh, Juki to defend the set pieces. If I would have put uh, John Toral or Riley Magri, I think they don't have the, the, the intensity jet that the, this game demanded. So. So it was a, a really tough day to, to do the substitution because, again, they are a, a very good team, they are aggressive and uh, I knew that it was going to be a tough game until the last uh, second. Is it a case of having patience with this group? The longer they play with each other, the more experience they get at this level, the better they will become as a team? Oh, 100%. I think uh, this, is the, this is the way. It's impossible to, to play attractive football, attacking football when we've, played, uh, when we've uh, changed the 11 players, when the team uh, was saved last year and two years ago in the last game of the, of the season. Season. So if um, if I would be able to play attacking football and to to score a lot of goals and to not concede a lot of goals in this uh, situation, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be in Champions League. So it's just to to keep going. I can understand uh, everybody's frustration, but uh, we are not here just for uh, for the game today or for the game on, on Tuesday. Uh, we are uh, changing a lot of things. I think. Uh, they said a lot of time that this is not a sprint, it's a, it's a marathon and the marathon is tough. You are going to have good moments, uh, bad moments, uh, better moments and worse moments. So the, the way is to keep going together and for sure in the future we are going to play much better and we are going to win much more games. Finally, Barnsley on Tuesday, back here on the televised game at St Andrews. Another challenge, a different challenge again? 
yeah, another challenge, it's a different challenge, uh, a team which uh, is doing is doing well. I need to analyze them uh, really good. I need to I need to to check the the place how tired they are and uh, just to to try to to prepare the game and to try to to win the game because uh, always we prepare the game thinking that uh, we are going to win that game. Aitor, as always, thanks for talking to us. Thank you.